Yo, what's up guys? Uh, so I saved the best division for last, the AFC South, as you can tell by the title. So yeah guys, I'm really excited to, to do this video. This is the one I, I saved for last, and this is going to be the last one. I'm going to do my playoff predictions, and then I'm going to do my Super Bowl predictions, uh, and those will be like done in a week or so. So anyway guys, make sure you guys subscribe for that, like this video, and hit that bell button as well, because that helps out a lot. Anyway guys, let's get into it. Alright guys, this is, this is just a tough division to call. All right now the team I have at the bottom of this division is going to be the Houston Texans all right now I oh man this is tough I like Deshaun Watson but I just he I don't think he's gonna do as, as good as he did last year I don't think many people I, I think most people are like he's not gonna do as well which I, I could agree with I don't know I just don't see it working out you know Lamar Miller whatever Dante Foreman I, I like what he brings to the table you know Alfred Blue at running back I mean no nah, that's just that's not even that good man but, um, you know, Will Fuller, Hopkins, you know, Kiki Kuti, they get in the fourth, fifth round. I like him. Uh, Sammy Coates, and they got Braxton Miller, and it's just whatever. Other than if DeAndre or Will, or Will Fuller goes down, it ain't looking too good, especially if DeAndre goes down. I mean, it's not good, bro. But at tight end, it's not that good either. Jordan Aikens, Steven Anderson, they have one other guy who's just a blocker. So, Jordan Aikens is 26, too, dog. We're complaining about the Ravens' first-round pick. This guy's 26 as well. He was a third-round pick. So, I don't know, man. But moving on to the defense. Now, I think this is where they struggle, the secondary. Now, Andre Hall, he got diagnosed with cancer. That really sucks. I, I don't remember what kind. I think it was like lymphoma. I don't know, dude. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert on that. But that sucks. Hopefully, he can get better soon and go on the field. Because he did have a nice year last year. And... Kevin Johnson, you know, I think he, I think he, he might actually be good this year. I don't know. First round pick back in 2015 hasn't developed yet. Tyron Matthews there now, which is nice. Seven million for one year for him. That's a great deal. GG Texans on that one. Aaron Colvin, your your slot nickel corner, and then you have Corey Moore at strong and Justin Reed at strong too. Um, I heard they don't really think Justin Reed will get any playing time this year. I don't know where I heard that from, but I've heard it, bro, so I could be wrong. Texans fans hit me up, but yeah, it's probably going to be Corey Moore there. So, Whitney Merciless at linebacker, Clowney, Zach Cunningham, you know, Bernard McKinney, uh, Dylan Cord, Cole, Duke Ezio4, who I really like is coming to this draft. You know, man, Ezio4 can line up on the D line too, so can Clowney. I don't know about Merciless, but yeah, it's pretty, yeah, you, you can put these guys at D end if you really wanted to. And at the D end position, or the D line, I should say, you have JJ Watt, of course, you know, you have Chris Covington, uh, DJ Reader. And you have uh, Carlos Watkins, fourth round pick uh, last year, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to get so much hate for this, bro. But guys, number three team I have here, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh, man. Bortles, this is the number one reason. Trash. Garbage. I don't care how good he did in the playoffs. Garbage, bro. I don't care. I don't care, dude. Anyway, running backs. Fournette, TJ Yeldon. I almost dropped my paper. And uh, Corey Grant, who's a speedster. I like him. Uh, Yeldon, he, he can catch the ball. He's nice, bro. This is his last year, I'm pretty sure, with this team. So, you know, I don't see him getting re-signed. But Marquise Lee at receiver. Keelan Cole. D.D. Westbrook. Uh, Alan Lazard. They let Alan Robinson go. And Alan Hearns, too, which is so sad, dude. <laughs> it's so sad. But... You know, man, Lazard was like a undrafted, I'm pretty sure. He could be like an Allen Hearns. I don't know, dude. I I, I kind of liked him out of what, I was at Iowa State or something like that. And Didi Westbrook, of course. And then Austin Zafir and Jenkins, Niles Paul, whatever. It's not good at tight end at all. And then defense, guys. Um, you know, Jalen Ramsey, AJ Bouye. Uh, great duo. Great. Uh, the best in the league. I, I think so. And then you have DJ Hayden, and I put in parentheses, freaking overpaid, dude. Not even a question, he's overpaid way too much money. But for how big he is, he can tackle well. You know, he has the speed. He can get it done, but he just hasn't been that good of a player since he was picked like 12th overall by the Raiders back in like 2011 or something like 2012. No idea, I forgot. And then Barry Church at safety, and then Tashawn Gibson. I didn't write him down, but I remembered him. I'm stupid, dude. But yeah, at D-line, dude, and this is uh, also a great spot on this team as well. And then that, we're going to start off with Clayus Campbell, Yannick Ngakwe, Beasts. And then you have uh, Malik Jackson as well. And then you got Marcel Darius, Darius, however you want to say it. And then you have Taven Bryan, who you drafted in the first round as well. Like, a lot of, a lot of nice steps there. Avery Jones, don't forget, and Dewan Smoot. At the end, and you know, uh, Jones is at tackle as well. So tackle depth is nice. The end depth is nice as well. They have Eli Onko, however you say his name. He's he's there as well. At linebacker, Miles Jack, Telvin Smith, Blair, Blair Brown. I don't know who's going to be a third linebacker, but Jaguars fans hit me up. And guys, the number two team in this division, I think, is going to be the Indianapolis Colts. 
Andrew Luck, I think he's going to be back, all right? That's going to be tough. They have Brissett to back him up. Great trade by the Colts, you know. Uh, obviously, what's his face? He went to the Patriots. Just wasn't a good receiver. Has never been a good receiver on, on both teams, but great trade for the Colts, I think. Um, Marlon Mack, Naheem Hines, Robert Turbin. There's one other guy they drafted. Jordan Wilkins, I think is his name. Uh, I remember these a lot better on camera. Like when I'm off camera, I'm like, who is that guy, dude? <laughs> and then now I just I can just knock him off like that. Um, T. Y. Hilton, Dion Kane, Darius Fountain, Ryan Grant. Who else? Uh, yeah, a receiver. A lot of guys talking about uh, Dion Kane. I liked him out of Clemson. Uh, I did like what he brought to the table. I kind of wanted the Cowboys to get him, but he's he's a nice receiver, bro. I I do like him. Uh, I like Fountain a bit more to be honest with you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I was higher on Fountain. Um, but yeah. I loved what they did at receiver in this draft class. You know, Ryan Grant, whatever, former Redskin, went to the Ravens and like, I don't know what happened there. Like, I think the Ravens like cheated him out of a of a of an expensive deal, so he lost a lot of money there. But tight end, Jack Doyle, Eric Ebron, um, I think it's nice. You know, if Jack Doyle's your blocker. He he's just like a he's like a Jason Witten. He can just uh, it's you know it just he just does the job. He just blocks. He can catch a ball. Doesn't have the speed you want, but he can get it done as well. Eric Ebron, pretty much the opposite. He's really fast. Okay hands, uh, can't block really at all, but hopefully he can turn his career around in Indianapolis. But the defense guys now, they switched over to a 4-3 defense. And what that means is, uh, you know, a lot of guys are going to move in the D end and a lot of guys are going to move the D tackle as well. But yeah, you know, the second day, we're going to start off with that like we always do. Quincy Wilson, uh, Pierre Desir. It's really bad. This is the worst secondary in the league, I think. It's, it's definitely last for me. And Malik Hooker, Clayton Gathers, and Matthias Farley. Just, it's not good, bro. It's, it's not, dude. Like, let's, let's be honest here. And then, you know, at the line, you got Al Woods, a nice, uh, you know, one tech. I, I hope he's going to play the one tech. I don't know why he'd play anything else. And then Terrell Basham, Danico Audrey, I think he's going to be the three tech. And slash DN, that's what they have on their website, so. But yeah, Jabal Shear moving to DN as well. You know, and then uh, John Simon, I mean, is he going to play DN? I'm not too sure, but. He can do everything. He, he can, like, rush the passer. He can cover. Like, he's nice, dude. Um, you know, and then Tyrell Adams at middle linebacker. And then Matthew Adams and Sky Moore. Like, what's going on there? Colts fans, freaking tell me, dude. Because I have no, absolutely no idea. Obviously, the number one team is going to be the Tennessee Titans. Now, guys, Mariota, I see him balling out. You know, you drafted a quarterback, which is great. You know, when you have a quarterback who's struggling, a young quarterback who's struggling, you need to get like another quarterback to like really push him just like the Titans did just like the Cowboys did and the, the Buccaneers did it which is dumb I think you need to get that other quarterback and Luke Falk is the guy I really like what he brings to the table you know obviously Mariota too I think he'll ball out well, they got they got a new coach on the team should be nice guys you know uh, Derrick Henry uh, Deion Lewis Ikram Wadley really liked Wadley coming out of the draft I like Deion Lewis I like what he can do and I like Henry too a nice zone runner um, just I just like what he can do, man. You know, at running back, uh, no, at receiver, sorry. Um, I say Rashard Matthews, Tajay Sharp really hasn't. I think he was injured all last year, but 2016 he looked pretty good for a fifth round receiver. And then you know Corey Davis, Taiwan Taylor. Taiwan Taylor didn't really do much for a third round pick, so I don't know, I don't know what's going on there, man. But you know Delaney Walker, Jonu Smith at tight end. Um, Delaney's a beast. I think he's the most valuable player to this team right now. You, you could argue Mariota, but it's definitely one of those two. Um, but anyway, defensive side of the ball, guys. They get Malcolm Butler. A bit overpaid, but hey, they got their corner, right? Logan Ryan, a bit overpaid as well, I think. And not as bad as Butler, though, but still. Adore Jackson, he looked okay near the end of the season. You know, game 17, he actually looked nice, and it was the first game he actually, like, really started, so. Sean Sims, I don't know too much about him. And then Kevin Byard, Denora Searcy. I mean, Kevin Byard's nice. Denora Searcy's just whatever to me. And then Dan Crookshank, I think he's going to be playing corner. They say he's a secondary player, but I think he's going to be playing at corner, probably. I'm not too sure. Titans fans, hit me up. And then uh, Drell Casey on the D-line, Daquan Jones at nose tackle. And I think Austin Johnson also plays nose tackle as well. Not too sure there, but Casey's a beast. And then Will Compton at linebacker, Brian Arakpo, Derek Morgan, um, Rashawn Evans, and then Harold Landry, bro. This is a nice linebacker core. This is legit, dude. This is like a, this is definitely a top seven pass rush. Top five? I don't know, dude. If Landry can really ball out, then I think it's top five, bro. But yeah, guys, that's it for this. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, hit that bell button, guys. Helps out a lot. Thank you guys for watching.